so happy you're here, and I can't wait to share what we got going on today. Irrelevant news. you no further. So they are definitely going to have a fourth one. Who wins the belt out of the battlers? Do we not think that's who? I thought we were going to we save not think the belt for I take cheating so I take cheating so seriously, dude. Like cheating in a relationship is the equivalent to me of like manslaughter. I don't have any jokes prepared, so I'm just going to say that. It's the same as like murder. You should have committed a crime in a concert of a like, black guy. Move over. It's terrible. Right, you look like Chris Elia part of the movie, like I struck the kids. Mmm, flat. All right, I was actually gonna make a joke about 9-11, but I bombed it. <laughs> wow, this, you see the Look at this. Just involving you brought all of this. Oh my God. What do you think, Papa Gut? Because it's the juice, and if you don't have the juice, you don't have it. So if you don't have the juice, you can't capitalize. Fill the room with the juice. That's a lot of loot. That bit fire. Yeah, she kind of. Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, hello. My name is Pearl. If you're not brand new here, you already know what's going on. Like, let's be honest. Before we get into the last part, though, we will be uh, watching Death for Noodles' ex-employee. I think the one that he is suing for whatever reason, which is really interesting. And the reason I kind of held off on this was because I was very much just like, mm, do I really want to do, you know, a reaction of just one TikTok or not, or put it with one or whatever have you. But uh, after listening to the TikTok, I really, it just took me back to a time. And yeah, definitely going to share that time with you guys. Before we get into that, spoiler alert, if you have not seen in the dark on Netflix just go ahead and just skip through this entire intro I'm about to just spoiler all over but anyways I just finished season four last night and I can't even explain how many emotions I went through watching this 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 damn season one season one season two and season three you're just very much just engulfed in Murphy and just wanting her to be okay and then this season I was just like you know what killer killer put her in prison i really i'm done i don't care anymore i'm over it i don't care if she's blind like and this is this is the thing you guys this is the thing and i think it's because like i take cheating so i take cheating so seriously dude like cheating in a relationship is the equivalent to me of like manslaughter it's the same as like murder right like for me that's how i see i know some people don't but you know just depending on your upbringing who you are did you you know were you raised by divorced parents were you not raised by divorced parents are your parents toxic or your, you know is your family dynamic toxic whatever so it all depends but for me like when cheating when cheating goes down especially to the point where it's like you can see you can see the moment where it's like okay you're either going to do this you're going to be a terrible person and just not go with your morals or you're going to stop yourself you're going to freaking stop yourself and my thing is like if i'm going to prison okay and if you guys haven't seen the show let me just paint the picture for you real quick okay if you're not planning on watching it if you have to go to pr prison Prison is on the line right now. And you pick sex over that. I, I, I'm so sorry, but like all respect has just gone out of the window. I, ca I cannot respect you no further. I cannot respect. How can you put sex above your own freedom? I don't understand people who do that. And I get it. Like sex is this thing that people for some reason just feel like they can't live without. I, I totally understand. I get it. Like I totally get it. But oh my God, I have never been so mad at a character in my entire life. I had to pause the show and just scream at the TV screen because it was just like, how dare you? How dare you do that to somebody who cares that much about your well-being, your freedom? Like, you guys, I can't. It's, it's really just, it's re-amping how mad I was when I first saw it. Anyways, let me shut up. If you have not seen In the Dark, please go watch it. If you have seen it, let me know your thoughts down below because listen, I've never been so mad at Murphy. I've never been so mad at somebody who is literally acting. It's literally a character. None of it's real. None of it. <laughs> None of it. Yet my emotions are very much real. Very much, very much, very much real. Anyways, let's hop into this uh, TikTok really quickly here. Hi. Okay, hey. yes, I quit my job. Um, yeah. If you know who I work for, you know. Um, you probably understand why I quit. But the main thing that pushed me over the edge was Burning Man. So get this, I had to go on a work trip to record a YouTube video. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm assuming my boss is going to tell me, like, what I need to bring or, like, what to prepare for or, like, anything. I didn't get any details. We, I didn't even want to go in the first place, okay? 
I was getting bad vibe. I just didn't really want to go. So I asked him, like, a few days prior. I was like, did you already, like, buy the tickets or anything? Like, it just doesn't really go with my schedule. And he, like, got mad. And he's like, I dropped, like, $4,000 on this trip. Like, you can go let me know if you can't come. I was like, okay, like, I'll just go, whatever. So I go. We fly to Reno. We get there. Um, we wait, like, an hour in line for the rental car place. He goes up with an expired driver's license. How are you? I'm sorry, like, how did you think you could rent a car with an expired driver's license? So then he's like... E Curious to know on why that is, right? Because I don't know the restrictions of, like, why you wouldn't be able to get your license renewed. I know it's, it depends on, you know, different states. I can only think of a couple things, such as, like, registration, maybe not having valid insurance, uh, maybe a ticket. Uh, I, I don't know, but there, there there would have to be a reason, right, for you to um, not be able to renew your driver's license, correct? You can do it, like me, and they're like, well, the, the person who, like, rents the car has to put their card down. So I had to put my card down like a $400 charge on my card um and so the rent car was under my, my name let me drive to Burning Man like three hours that shit took six hours because he went off road he was like fuck the GPS I see it over there let's just drive straight through the desert um also I had half a bottle of water and of course why not be reckless that way I mean it's not like the rental car's in his name anyway right so legally what could really happen if something were to happen to the rental car too many bad i mean it's just the entire story is just very much like that where is the compliance seat where is it nowhere hr anywhere nowhere okay with me that entire time we we're in the middle of the desert no phone service um he just starts going off road in the rental car drives in many ditches like we got stuck at one point i literally thought i was gonna die and it was like so bumpy my head fucking was like hitting the ceiling i was anxious the entire time like so anxious it was like literally one of the worst experiences of my life it was really bad um and then we we finally get to bring man um like five hours later um we pull up i'm and then i asked him i'm like where are we sleeping he's like uh i'm probably not gonna sleep because i have a lot of work to do but you can sleep in the car oh okay that would have been nice to know i could have brought like a pillow or something i literally didn't even bring pants like i'm, I'm wearing shorts and a fucking gap hoodie um and then we get there we get the tickets and he's like oh this is like a rave i thought it was like a hippie commune thing how the fuck you just drop 4k on a trip and you don't even know what it is what I, i'm like okay this guy's not as smart as i thought he was i didn't even think he was but i'm like come on dude come on like be be fucking for real okay anyways so we get there they don't sell water there or food it's like you literally it was quick google search and i know i could have done it but it's like i'm going on a work trip like i didn't think my boss was dumb enough to not fucking tell me any of this shit um but he didn't do a simple google search which if you type in burning man you click on the thing there's a big thing with the survival guide it tells you that they don't sell food they don't have, like buy or sell goods there that's just how it is so there was no water i had half my water bottle from the airport um and no food and we were in the middle of the desert and I had to sleep in the car and there was no bathrooms. There was just port potties and hand sanitizer and I didn't know that and it was just fucking horrible. So, am I surprised? No. Should we be surprised? Yeah. Reason being is because like, how can you not care for the freaking well-being of not only somebody who works for you, but just like a freaking woman in general. Like, I don't understand, like, especially, and, and this is another thing that I think like a lot of men don't even realize is like, a woman can just be like willy nilly living their life. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go into the pool and yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym or yeah, let's go on this trip. And then boom, their period starts and they're like, oh snap, do I have an emergency pack of three tampons on me or a pad or something? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Then they have to go find, you know, where they could get that. So it's like, when. When 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 men plan trips or anything like with a woman, I just I, I think in my head like do do they even think about do they even care that there's a possibility of me just sitting somewhere bleeding with absolutely nothing I can do, no change of clothes, no shower, no toilet, y you know what I mean, no running water. Like I sometimes I really think like do men think about that or do they not think about that until they have a daughter and then they're put in the situation where they have to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know. Anyways, another thing is um, working for people who, let's, let's just say, you know, obviously it's not a corporate, it's not, it's not a corporate, you know, nine to five. They're not, you know, moving in these LinkedIn quarters, right? Let's just say it's just a job with somebody who is a well-known 
person such as Death Noodles or a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer or somebody of that nature, right? It's so interesting how quick people will jump on these jobs because it's like, oh, that's so-and-so without even realizing like there's so much that's just not in place most of the time, you know what I mean? And so this entire TikTok of her explaining this experience reminded me of when I did something very dumb, very, very dumb such as this, where I basically got on a plane to go to a big YouTuber's house that was like in another state, never been to that state before. Um, you know, I just saw it as a, this like opportunity, like, oh my gosh, I'm in my early 20s, I can like get this experience, I can interview, blah, 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 whatever. And it ended up being a terrible experience, like very much this man just really wants to have sex with me kind of thing, you know what I mean? And it was just very creepy. It was creepy, it was weird, it was annoying. It got to a point where I was just like, dude, I'm not interested in you and like, like I'm not interested in you like that. And it just wasn't, it wasn't fun, y'all, it wasn't fun. I mean, on the outside it looked very fun, you know what I mean, especially at the time, but looking back, it was very much one of those situations where you get sucked into situations that you're just like, why did I even decide to do this? Why was this even something that I said, oh yeah, like let me hop myself in this car and let me get on this airplane. And you know what I mean? But I think sometimes when you're very like young and bright eyed and you're just like, oh, I need experience. I need to work on my resume or whatever it may be. And you see an opportunity, you don't even really realize the red flags because there may not even be red flags until you're like, I don't know, three, five miles down the road, AKA three, five months down the situation. And you're like, well, dang. How did this happen? You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. I feel like that's another piece of the pie that we also have to talk about that we see all the time, even with like Ethan's uh, employees, right? Like we see this all the time and there's so much that can get just swept under the rug because it's like, oh, but that's so-and-so. That's so-and-so, right? Where you can't necessarily say that about a CEO of a corporation, right? Like, oh, well, that's the CEO. It doesn't matter if that's a CEO. There are laws in place that stops them and prevents them from doing certain things that can obviously get them in trouble. You know what I mean? Where you just may not see that on like a YouTube team or, you know, a, a podcast team or whatever. You know what I mean? Like the idea of them being like, oh, let's put money aside for, you know, HR compliance probably sounds insane to somebody who literally creates content on YouTube drama <laughs> and, you know, has fun with comedy, whatever you wanna call it. Speaking of having fun with comedy, let's go ahead and have fun with it. We have literally about like 20 minutes. Again, praying to God that this is the last one. I'm going to do my best not to even stop it. Let's just see, let's let's, let's count, let's count how many times I'll stop it. Is there gonna be a fourth one? Can you guys confirm below? Cause Lord knows, I don't know. But if there is, Jesus. The, the bell first, who won? Who won is a great question. Out. Who won the belt? Who won the night? Is the reason why you got a belt? I thought it was your battle. Yeah, but I don't take the belt home. Who wins the belt out of the battlers? Do we not think that's who? I thought we were going to save the belt through? for like a championship. Yeah. 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 Like, what do y'all think? Y'all think we should give the belt now out or wait? Is this belt? Is this a belt worthy? This ain't no belt worthy night. So they are definitely going to have a fourth one. I love this um, problem solving while we're live. It's, it's nifty, right? Unique. thinking it was this guy oh <laughs> i thought it was this comic i was gonna be like first of all how did you get him to come wow let me shut up <laughs> i was like That's oh my god stop well, he's been here before 
I've never seen you before. What's up? Who is that? All right, cool. Um, Driss Delia and <laughs> Is that like a joke name? Call me Mr. Salia. So we got three, Mr. Salia. Got three yeah. rounds, three jokes. I don't have any jokes prepared, so I'm just going to say that. <laughs> oh, oh, is, is that, is it, is that going to be a comic here? Let me pay attention. Tales. Heads. Alright, you look like Chris Alia if you were got a part of the movie, how do you instruct the kids? Mmm flat. Alright. Yes, I think All that's right is good, good, right? <laughs> oh wait, give me a second actually. Um that's a terrible memory. Come on, man. Oh man. So uh, this is why I make fun of you. What does an introvert do in the middle of the stage? Oh, they why you gotta take the audio out? <laughs> Don't make fun of yourself. I'm gonna do that. You can okay. just make fun of me. Okay, this is on you. All right. Um, did you did you forget your shirt in the uh, the clothes rack? That shit looks tight as fuck. Dude, Elliot's the only one laughing. <laughs> Thank you for the laughs. I wonder why Elliot's the only one laughing. Shaved this morning. That is true. I do have a mustache. Mustache brothers. What do you think, Papa Gut? This is not good. <laughs> 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 this is not good. <laughs> say that, boy. Say that to the mic. Say that to the What is this for you? This is my 9 11. I think the people in the chat agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I was actually going to make a joke about 9 11, but I bombed it. <laughs> All right. Uh, tough crowd. No, it wasn't. It was actually not a tough crowd at all. The crowd was not tough. The crowd was very nice. The crowd was very generous. Please, get the judges a mic. Did the judges have a mic? Let me get it so they can react in real time. I just put the mic over there. Not make out. Why would you guys end on this one? You could have done this like a warm-up or think you could get the battery. It doesn't make sense. It's getting better. Yeah. Down one and one. All right. Oh, him or me? Both. Yeah. Now, what do you think the guy that's gonna kill you for doing heroin in this brand? Um, this is the special needs card. This is the special needs card. This. Give him a chance. It's a special needs. Thank you. Thank you. It's been that way the entire time, my friend. Uh, I mean, you look like Chris Alia if you got aborted. Okay. So we're just... Is that... Is, 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 we're fully aware this man looks like that and has a name similar. Bring it. Say something else. Jesus. Good choice, yeah. Good choice. Oh, child. A body swap? <laughs> I got nothing on you got what? You got nothing? Fight! You just got nothing. Fight something. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But both of you, both of you knew this was happening tonight, right? They don't care, exactly. But you made a flyer for this. Right. I didn't come prepared. I bet you do. version of Dave from the show Dave? Uh, I'm a little Dicky. That's <laughs> it. Okay. All right, a little Dicky. Yeah, it's now, actually. Uh, I think they'll be better off if you guys just give them the stink eye as you guys walk out. So, uh, I mean, I don't really feel like I got roasted, baby. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm to do that. Try you better be quiet. Yeah. Don't be gentle with me, please. Um, I mean, what happened to your head? You get dunked in the oil and just leave it. Oh God! I can ask you the same thing, bro. I know. Honestly, I know. They don't do perms. They don't do perms anymore, man. What happened? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I got it. I got it order. That's what I did. It's like a Russian doll of awful. I'm so this happy is... I mic the audience. I know that I could make fun of myself. Maybe I could say, like, yo, I look like Lord Farquaad if I got length extensioning surgery. Something like that. 
It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good to be with. Is it? Is it? <laughs> is it good? Wants me this out. shit is starting to feel like community service. Uh, yeah. uh, nah, something. This shit is starting to feel court ordered. Like, <laughs> Force. We got to decide now. Let's, okay. let's figure this shit out. Let's see. How comfortable Dennis is publicly shaming himself. It's and it's hard for me to even bring up because I am also very comfortable publicly shaming myself. I, I'm comfortable really showing all negative sides of myself. I mean, if it's necessary, I will do that. But the way this man is deliberately laughing and cheering on Steve, it's, it's actually sad, dude. It's actually sad. When you see things like this with, with people you know, right? You, you try to set them straight. Like, no, like, you're, you're a great comedian, too. I'm sorry, I can't even, I can't even say that right. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Ooh, no, but seriously, like, if I was Def's friend, you know, like, you're a comedian, too. Like, you're, you're funny, too. Like, you know, just come prepared next time. Or whatever it is to, to build your confidence up, whatever it is that's going to make you, you know, a better a better person. But, I mean, for this to be your show and your... Steven! 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 It's... I mean... And I don't even know if, and I hate even reiterating this, because it's like, I don't know if you're aware, but none of us are watching this for these other comedians, Dennis. None of us are. None of us said, oh, I can't wait to watch the Deaf Noodles comedy roast so we can see Steven on stage, so we can see Corey, so we can see Elliot, so we can see, what's the girl name? Miranda. We don't know none of those people. We came to see you, the person that has been spewing I am a comedian on all platforms. We, we have came to see you shine. We have came to see your talent. So it's just like, yeah, I could be on the hating side of like, you ain't funny, you're terrible, blah, blah, blah. But there's this other part of me that's very much like, okay, so what if Dennis was my friend? What if Dennis was a creator that I spoke with, right? It would be very much like, sir, what do we need to do to get you where you need to be? Because clearly what you're saying isn't matching your actions. And I don't know if you're aware of that or you don't care or is it part of the joke? Or is that the excuse you're going to give us? We don't freaking know. It's just, it's, it's sad. It's, it's sad. It's sad. I, I, I don't, I don't know what, else, what other word to say. I, I actually, it's, it's not even funny. It's actually sad. It's very much like. I'm freaking speechless. I don't know what else to say. I, I love Steven. Like, look at this. Wow, this you see the look at this. just involving you brought all of this? Oh my god. <laughs> this is this like But should Steven be even brought into this? I feel like it's too <laughs> <good. laughs> And the only reason 
it's not even that he put himself up there, baby girl. It's it's that Dennis just opened the door like, let's give it to Steven. And we all know that you are the one that's running this. They are aware of it. We are aware of it. That's how this comes into play. And Dennis is just standing there like, I don't know. You know, it's just the five-year-old waiting for the appointment to happen. Like, nah, 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 nah. you know, and it's like, we, we, like I, I just, um, I don't know how many analogies I can say, guys. I don't. That was a good joke. <laughs> See how he's saying this to the opposing person, but not Dennis. Like, I mean, he did say it to Dennis briefly, but it's just like, and then Dennis is over here laughing. Dennis, we can say the same thing to you. They can say the same thing to you. You put on a whole show and write a single show for a battle you set up. And you're laughing. So what would you say is worse? I, you had to I'm pick? figuring this out. <laughs> no, death is worse. Let's be real. Mm, like, are we? Is this like a simulation or something? <laughs> something. Jesus. <laughs> this is a lot of people's oh, rock bottom tonight. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? For me, it was kind of like watching the final round of the Special Olympics. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Special Olympics. Like nothing at all. But you know what's better than winning first place at the Special Olympics? Not being fucking special. Oh, come on, man, right? Why are you ever doing this? Why? It was good. <laughs> Yo, the room is getting crazy. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Uh, Steven won. Good night, let's go home, y'all. Uh, Alright, here we go. The first winner of the Super Rose Battles, Steven! Steven, you can test it. Come on, Steven. I know how to tell you, Steven. Publicly, that I you're not you gonna. A thousand dollars a month. I don't need you to show up with your thousand dollars a month, okay? I'm sure you have enough money if you got enough money to put an ad and place it here for you to talk in that nice sun hat of yours on some stupid ass island. Anyway, so I can't. It's, you're gonna have a fourth one in two weeks, and you're not gonna prepare for that one either. So watch for the cringe. So you're doing it on purpose. So you're doing this on purpose. What do you gain from that? I'm not, I, I don't understand. Was your objective not to be a comedian? Was that not the objective? Is that not the excuse? Is that not the reason for everything? Because you're a comedian, but you're not going to prepare. Okay. I'll see y'all in two weeks, aka those that follow up with this kind of content. I will see y'all in two weeks. Other than that, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video, which will definitely not be about death noodles because what, what is, what is, it, what, what are you even doing? Sorry, sir, you, the epitome of a Pisces man. Interesting. Very interesting. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all the next one because I'm shook. I'm, I'm fully just absolutely. <laughs> I'm not going to come prepared for the next one. Sir. You crazy. I can't. You are crazy. <laughs> Sir. Oh my God. Comical. Comical but with no laughter. Interesting. Appreciate all the hit views. Thank you for all the engagement. You're welcome. Keep watching.
watching this here the fourth one. Play out the coop in the lot. Four for a twelve for a squat. Busting all the bells out the box. Hit the leaf.